tower, Diamond. Five two six Delta Sierra, hold short two zero, ready to go. Diamond six Delta Sierra, you got the Cessna inside, just depart. Yes, sir. Have that traffic in sight. They're headed northeast. You can pass uh, southeast of them, or go around behind them on course two zero, cliff takeoff. Roger that, cliff takeoff on two zero, five two six Delta Sierra. All right, fuel pumps on. Okay. Air on approach. All right, we still got the Cessna. Alright, so we have 45 miles to Chesterfield. We'll do like a, I don't know, 5 nautical mile GME arc. Clockwise. How's that? Alright. Alright, so we'll see how you come up. Two days ago, we struggled. Yesterday was good. Today will be awesome. Alright, well, and I couldn't tell you last time I did a DMB arc, I kind of forgot how to do it. Alright, well, once you get a deed on Chesterfield, I haven't given you any specifics other than we just do it five miles, so you'll tune in to Chesterfield. Yeah. Once you're in, you'll switch over to your, alright, and then move your course until you get on the radio that you're on. Right, tune it in so the, the needles line up. Yeah, and then six miles or five and a half miles to I, I think 90 we, degrees. I think turn. we said about a mile you start turning, so we'll go 90 to the left because we said clockwise. Once you make that turn, oh, just do 80 degrees. Just then do increments of 10 over. Okay, just maintain that five miles. Then it's twist turn, uh, twist 10, turn 10, right? So you'll be on a radio once you make your turn. You're going to twist it so your needle yeah. moves out in front of you 10 right. degrees. And every two, time you catch it, one, five, zero, you reset two, zero, it and you turn again. Off, no delay, traffic three miles out. Uh, the, the turn 10 is a ballpark, right? There's Check three, whiskey, almost no wind three, today, so that should work. Zero, but if you're fighting wind, you've got to keep right track two, zero, of your distance um, up here. I mean, GPS distance, so really it's a GPS arc, but we'll call it the TMB arc. And then once we're comfortable with that, you have to maintain your altitude. We'll just keep going at 3,000. Maintain your distance. And then we'll uh, look up whatever uh, approach happens to be on this end. It's that. That's good. I can't remember the runways in answer. And how much you want to bet that something breaks in one of these approaches? Uh, I'd bet anything. I, I suspect there'll be at least one malfunction. Yeah, probably one. Uh, I know that a regular approach is so easy for you at this point that you need a challenge. You need to take stuff away. I, I think hey, we can make one more. Roger. Oh, uh, the moral of the story is, we could use it here, but if we were on a real high of our flight, it would be unreliable. That's the classic, if you're getting a signal but no ID, so it's unreliable, right? Okay, there you go. So we're headed straight at it on the whatever that is, 340, something like that. Sure. Alright, so for five mile DME arc. Long way. Safe sky traffic calling 216 out. Oh, no, 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 just leave it where it was. We'll be entering a left downwind for runway 2. And just turn it 10 Safe degrees. Are you on it? You wait till you come around. Alright, a mile's good because there's 5.1. Good deal today, just picking up the boat that dropped off. 
Alright, so see how it is now? You've turned it. Yeah, we should now be Now you're chasing that, yeah. that needle. Alright, so 4.9, so we might have to correct a little bit out to pick up that 10. I think it's says in Bravo, we're just departed from 2-3. Right, so we're going to be able to make our left turn on the cross end before we get to him. Alright, so the wind's shoved you a little bit. Might need to turn a little extra. Okay. Oh, uh, the real key is don't don't move your course needle. You get your turn. And then and then switch it so your bar is Alright. You got a handle on that, huh? 5.4, you need to tighten her up. You're almost a half mile off where you're supposed to be. But you might need to, you know, turn in 12, 14 degrees or something. Uh, All right, you just switch to your next leg as we cross it. All right, so you got 5.4. If it starts getting that far, either take over manually or whatever, but get it back to where it is. I don't remember the tolerance on that, but half mile, you don't want to be a half mile after. Oh, instead of turning 10, turn it more. You should be able to keep it almost dead on in this amount of wind. All right, so what's APT about elevation or L? Up. What's that one mean? Uh, airport elevation. Airport elevation. What's the one above it mean? Uh, touchdown zone. Touchdown zone elevation. All right. And how much runway do we have available? Out to the west, southwest. Oh, it's 500. Okay. On the mist. Right down. 1,000. Right down. 1,000. Heading 1, 2, 0. And basically head back to where we're starting from right now, Nomo. So, last time I was out here, Larry, we did this as an ILS and a localizer. So oh, if he says, all right, I want you to do this as a localizer, what would you change? Uh, CDR. Well. So your minimums? Minimums would have to change. And that's it. It's going to pop up the same thing. You're still going to get a glide slope because unless it's really broken, it's going to be on here. So you're kind of pretending now. It's the other difference. So you changed your minimums, but you've now gone from a what to a what? Uh, precision and non-precision. Alright, so your your final approach fix on the ILS is what? Uh, 2,000. 1,000. And what is it on the localizer? Rosie. Well, okay, that's, that's correct. Okay. okay. Remember, on the ILS, we're going to start getting configured about a dot. Is that where you did it last time? Yeah, I mean, I started doing it pretty much immediately last All right, time. Alright, well, don't, you don't have to that I just by the time you hit that you should be configured and all stabilized and you see how that helps you because with the flaps out we already got rid of that little balloon it didn't happen right at the where you hit the localizer so you had a little time to play with it now on this one you're probably right to do that because look or this is 3.6 miles from the initial approach fix to your final approach fix. so that's not a lot of time to get it all configured so all right, 526 Delta Sierra, clear for the ILS 34 at ends and maintain 3,000 established on the approach. All right. Feedback incorrect. Cleared ILS 34, maintain 3,000 till established. What was the other thing? What was it? Huh? What was it? Uh. So we cross NOMO. G1000 should swap over to localizer. And we'll should hop in here with a glide slope too. And great miles out. This is what we'll make a call. Anson County traffic, I'm in. Front to six, Delta Sierra is eight miles to the south. Practice ILS 434, Anson. Man, yeah, this glide slope, it just, you're already above it as soon Oxy. as it comes in. Oxy's quick. So. Leaving altitude. Landing lights, powers all the way out, trying to get to 108. Uh, fuel pump, full oh. propeller, whole mixture. Yeah, yeah. Lumber Max, traffic gold night 264, left base 31, Lumber Max. Alright, so you got 90. 
got landing lights on, strobe, first notch flaps, full props so you're configured. I got a little wind coming out of the well, it's at 13 knots now. Okay, uh-oh, uh-oh, beep, 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 a horse failure. All right, five miles out. Anza County traffic dump in, 56 Sears, five miles out, ILS 3-4, Anza. All right, right on localizer. Just slightly above glide, that's perfect. All right, remember, the closer we get, the more sensitive that stuff's going to be. Oh, we are still in the clouds. It's raining, it's foggy. A little lightning up there. Oh, snow, too. Tornado. I got nothing. Minimum. Okay, traffic north on 26, still tired, on the go, low approach, it's coming. So, how would I do the mist without this, because I don't know where 120 is. Out there, turn your GPS, turn suspend off on your GPS, and turn it Hello, back to... Five, seven, three, there three, you three, go. Bravo is descending through 2,100 feet, we landing full stop runway 21. Act low traffic. Because there's a thousand feet, I'm supposed to turn to 120, I don't know no idea where it is. Alright. So, it's going to be, you got a compass right here. Oh, don't lose it, you're at 150, 30 degrees off. Okay, we did the 120, now the GPS is back to helping you. And we'll go back to the hole. So yeah, don't forget about your compass, that's why it's there. I know it's a pain in the butt to use, but you do have, if that goes, you do have that. Alright, you handled that good. Fine, you got almost a dot off one time, so. Davidson traffic, well. Davidson. 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 Davidson